this is the Mega Meeple, and I have a Kickstarter preview to show you. Now, this is Heirs of the Wizard King, it's created by Closet Full of Games. And now, this is a prototype that was uh, provided to me, and uh, it is subject to change and updates. I mean, you, you guys know how, how uh, Kickstarter works, so this is uh, by no means a uh, finalized project. It is, I'll have a link uh, to the Kickstarter page in the description of this video where you could get uh, the rundown on it as well as other videos on how to play. Now, I'm not going to go over all every single nuance of the game. There is plenty of other videos on the Kickstarter page and YouTube that uh, does that. And there's even a video on uh, a solo variant of this game. But I'm just going to touch upon some of the highlights. Now the cardstock is very good. Uh, one of the, the common, I wouldn't say complaints, but uh, kind of wishes is that uh, the, the art was more various. Uh, but uh, the artwork is good and the uh, tokens are acrylic, good sturdy cardstock. It's not like p flimsy paper. Now in a two player game, uh, the first player to reach the seven on the score track is the winner. Now, for each additional player, the required score reduces by one, as you can see on the uh, the two P at the seven, and then the uh, three player, uh, you have to get up at least to six, and then the four player, you have to get up to five. Now, uh, it's cooperative in the sense that you're all banding together to defeat the Black Wizard, but there's only going to be one winner. Now, the Black Wizard... Uh, if his token reaches the required score, all the players lose. And the token moves up as the black chain gets scored. And uh, anytime the deck runs out of cards. So again, the players must work together to discard the black chain and prevent the deck from emptying. Uh, emptying. But in the end, there is only one player that could be crowned the king. Now, I'm going to go over the uh, different abilities uh, for heal. This is the heal deck. Uh, you basically look at the top number of the cards in the discard pile and you maintain the order and you select one card and place it in your hand and put the rest back into the uh, discard pile. And each deck has its own uh, sort of like a legendary card that uh, gives you a, uh, I guess, an enhanced version of that ability. Now this is the burn deck. Basically, in uh, the ability here is you select cards randomly from an opponent's hand and you discard cards from any chain or hand uh, and then the opposing player's cards each count for two discards. And if you have any questions about what uh, you need to use for each ability, the, uh, the text does explain a lot, so just refer to that as if you have any doubt. This is the lore deck. And with lore ability, you could, uh, on your draw step, you could draw that many number of lore cards in your hand based on the level of the cards that you're playing. You keep two of them and return the top to the deck in any order at all. This is the uh, grow deck, grow ability. Uh, you basically reveal the number, the top uh, so many number of grow cards based on the level of the card you're playing and then you add them to any chain that they match And then you discard any cards that uh, cannot be joined to a chain This is the web ability cards uh, You basically return up to that number of web cards uh, Chain cards actually to the top of the deck in any order This is the uh, prior deck. Uh, you can see the hourglass there. It's basically uh, going into a time machine. So on your draw step, uh, instead you could shuffle your hand and the discard pile back into the deck and then draw that many uh, prior cards based on uh, the, the level of the card that you played. Now, if you have any questions about how many cards you need to draw or use in that ability, each card's description of the ability is specific to that card's level. So, for example, in this here, uh, the burn ability card, 
a level one card you discard the one card and on a level two card you uh, discard the two cards now to activate an, an ability uh, you basically play the card from your hand you use the ability as is described and then uh, you discard that card so example in the heal ability uh, I would draw three cards from the discard pile I would uh, maintain the order and choose one and put the other two back in the discard pile. Now bear in mind, uh, the level of the card dictates how many cards I need to, to play on that. So uh, right here I'm showing an example of the three cards. If I was playing a, like a five level card, I would take five cards from the uh, discard pile. Now if I want to learn an ability, I basically play that card from my hand, move that color's token up one space on the score track, and I could immediately cast that token's ability right then and there, and then I discard the, the, the card that I played. Now you can make a chain uh, either by matching the color or the number. For example, I'm at level 2 right now. I want to go up to 3. So I need to chain 3 cards together. And I could either do that by number. Rechain the 5. Or you could ch chain it by color. And basically what you do is you place the cards from your hand to either end of the chain that matches that end car uh, card's color or number. Now the chain is complete when the number of the cards in the chain equal the next space on the score track. And when a chain is complete, no cards may be added to it. Uh, if your chain is empty, you may place any card from your hand to start a new one. But unfortunately, the, uh, the Black Wizard uh, does not work with the same rules. Uh, basically, you deal one card to his chain. Uh, deal the top card of the deck to either end of the black chain, then perform the color's ability at that token's level. Uh, and regardless of whether it matches by color or number, he chains. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.